a counselor and a diversity coordinator at the Counseling Center here at Marquette. I um, do a lot of things in that position. I also teach the um, community class for the community that lives in McCormick Hall. It's a, a men's and a women's floor, one of the wings. The students live together, they take this class together, um, and the class itself is a class that looks at a lot of social justice issues and diversity issues. We start off by talking about things like prejudice, discrimination, stereotyping, oppression, power and privilege. My students know that I'm authentic, that I'm going to, you know, be as honest and truthful with them as I possibly can be, while being honest and truthful with myself. So I kind of, you know, I'm real with them. In that class, we do a lot of dialogue and discussion. Um, it's not like I'm standing up giving a lecture and telling people what they need to know. Um, I think we know that dialogue really helps people to understand their own lens, their own background, and be able to learn about and understand other people's experiences and backgrounds as well. When we had an issue with um, a dean who had gotten hired for the um, College of Arts and Sciences, and that um, offer was rescinded, and it was said that, that it was rescinded because her scholarship didn't fit the, the mission and vision of a Catholic Jesuit institution. There was a belief that there was some discrimination there based on that. She was also a lesbian with a partner, and um, so students got very upset about this. And they actually created a movement here, and they um, were picketing, and they were doing kind of silent protests where they were up like in the AMU and had like kind of taken over the AMU and had um, uh, rainbow tape over their mouths, and they made a big stink about it. And you know what? Administration heard that. So for anyone who does this kind of social justice and advocacy work, you have to be willing to look at your own shit meaning you need to be willing on an ongoing basis to look at your own cultural lens. If you don't look at your own crap, you are going to be doing more damage because you're going to be colluding in oppression, you're going to be reinforcing discrimination and oppression, reinforcing stereotypes. So the most important thing is really looking at your own stuff, um, becoming very self-aware and recognizing that you're not going to learn everything about yourself in one week or one month or one year. This is an ongoing, lifelong process.